Okay guys, today we're going to be doing a crystal collection. I'm just going to be taking you around the room and showing you the crystals that way because it'll be easier and quicker for me instead of taking each individual crystal off and showing it to you. So I have these two shelves, those shelves, I have crystals on my nightstand, I have crystals on my dresser, and I have crystals on my uh, shelf. So I'm going to be showing you all those different crystals and I'm going to move quickly but this video is probably going to be pretty long anyways. I'm going to start on these two shelves. These are both from Urban Outfitters and we, if we start here we have a rose quartz free form, a piece of cabin site from India, really pretty, that one's so cool, a little mini clear quartz sphere, a, this is Amazonite, and it has a really beautiful flash. Amazonite is actually feldspar, so it's in the same family as Labradorite. Moonstone. This is a little clear quartz point, which I've had for forever. This is called Paragonite. It's a type of gypsum only found in Russia, I believe. You can see that sparkle is really pretty. This is a blue lace agate geode, super duper sparkly. Um, if I could put it in the sun here, super duper duper sparkly. And then up here we have a malachite and chrysocolla little geode as well. This one is so pretty. Um, also, I get my crystals from local stores, online shops. I get them from all over, so I'll list a few online shop names in the description that you guys can check out after the video. This is Pink Mangano Calcite from Peru. This is Purple Chalcedony or Grape Agate. Um, it's really beautiful. This is a little freeform. I know people get mad when this is polished, but I actually like it. Super duper pretty little freeform mini baby freeform. Um, up here we have an amethyst stalactite, I believe it's called, with some agate in the center. Um, then down here we just have some classic amethyst points. This one is super duper beautiful and gemmy. And this one's really big and has a lot of like quartz, just clear quartz at the bottom. Really like those. Then right here we have an orange calcite pyramid. Um, down here we have emerald or green or pistachio calcite. This is just like a rough piece. Super pretty. This is an aragonite spike nut formation. This is chrysocolla and malachite. Sorry if you can hear the laundry in the background. I'm gonna keep going though. This is a moss agate freeform which I polished myself. You can kind of see through it. Really, really pretty. I polished this at my internship. I am doing a jewelry internship and she has a cabbing machine, so I polished that. I have this little fluorite, rainbow fluorite window thing. Um, some labradorite. Some rhodonite, and this actually has a jersey pocket. That is manganese and iron, likely. Um, that's kind of like druzied up inside the rhodonite. Really pretty. This is rose quartz from Mozambique. Let's see if I can show you. There is like a really big rainbow, but it's pretty camera shy. This is like a really gemmy piece of rose quartz. This is a really gemmy sphere of rose quartz with the rainbows. And it actually does have a star, but the star doesn't show unless you have a flash on it. But yeah, like I said, I'll have a few of my favorite like Instagram and Etsy shops in the description for you guys to check out. Next over here we have this beautiful flashy blue labradorite freeform. 
<clears throat> this is my favorite color of labradorite this like really dark blue and this free form is so beautiful there's flashes all over it um i love it and i've never been a labradorite person i've never really liked labradorite but i really am digging it right now and especially that dark blue this is a cluster of smoky quartz smoky quartz is my all-time favorite crystal this is a lapis free form um, I got that forever ago. I know now that it's not good to purchase lapis, so I won't be purchasing anymore, but I really do love this piece, but I got that a long time ago. This is a beautiful piece of Himalayan Smoky Quartz. Um, Himalayan Quartz is my absolute favorite, and this reminds me of a mountain. It's so pretty. I'm not going to pick it up because it's hard to put back on the stand, but it is so pretty. This is completely unpolished uncut natural it's so clear and so beautiful um then down here i have an amylite fossil from canada let's see if i can put it in the sun so you can really see those colors look at that amylite is such a cool cool fossil so it's actually an ammonite fossil and then this is nacre or aragonite which is the same thing that is on pearls and it just forms this like iridescent layer that interferes with the light on the surface. They put a lacquer over this because you can't really polish it up. So they just put like a glossy lacquer over it to keep it from peeling off. Um, this is a little mini white smoky quartz sphere. Um, smoky quartz from Colorado and a little geode. Down there is a little slab of labradorite another piece of smoky quartz like i said smoky quartz is my favorite so i have um maybe a lot maybe too much this is a piece of malachite i actually bought this on fifth avenue in new york um and i paid way too much for it but it's okay i have it now um a little tree with smoky quartz and then either like tourmaline or onyx or obsidian um, this is another smoky quartz point. A lot of people think that smoky quartz this dark is not natural. That's not true. Um, it can be this dark naturally because this piece and this piece are both from, they were mined in Colorado, have had no treatment, and they are both this dark naturally. It just depends on where you get the smoky quartz. Um, like Colorado smoky quartz is pitch black usually, but Himalayan smoky quartz is going to be a really light color. Like this is a himalayan smoky quartz shiva you can see the difference in color um so it just depends on where you get it from okay next i have a black moonstone palm stone and a really cool shaped piece of snowflake obsidian it's like flat on the bottom and then rounded up top really pretty okay now once we move over this shelf this is where I keep like my included quartz um, this shelf is from Amazon um, so I'll go through these quickly we have rutilated quartz we have thousand layer quartz or just like inclusion quartz it looks like a mountain in my opinion we have Chlorite Phantom Quartz, um, really cool, rare Pyrite included quartz, so cool. You can see right there, that is where the Pyrite's flat on the back because that's where the Pyrite grew onto the quartz. And I know this looks fake, it's not, it's just really high quality quartz and they've polished it into a sphere. Um, this is a Pyrite Sun in the back. This is um, a piece of anhydro quartz. Let's see if I can get the bubble. I don't know if you guys can see the bubble. If you look right where my thumb is, just above my thumb, there's, there's water trapped in there, a million year old water. This is another phantom quartz. It's either a 
gray chlorite or gray lithium, probably lithium. This is lithium quartz, pink lithium, more pink lithium quartz. This one's just unpolished. The, this is a really beautiful twin quartz from Brazil. Super duper pretty. More twins from Brazil. Spirit quartz from South Africa. I like that this one's like rounded at the top. Or cactus quartz, I know it's called also. And then a little mirror in the back because it's pretty. Really, really rare, high quality um, iron oxide in quartz. This is from Brazil. I got it from Rocks for the Spirit when they were having a sale because this was a little bit more expensive than I would like to admit. Um, but it's a really, really high grade collector's piece. Um, super duper rare to find iron oxide in quartz that is looks like that, that looks like blood. And I loved it because I love looking at blood under a microscope and this reminds me of what it looks like. The like yellows, plasma, it's cool. Then right here, um, it looks like a little reef inside of quartz. The, these are both from Rocks for the Spirit. I love Rocks for the Spirit. To, where I get my like most high quality pieces are from them. This is also from Rocks for the Spirit. This is from HimalayanClarity.com. My gorgeous water clear Himalayan quartz. This is also the most expensive piece that is in my collection. It's also the most like collector grade piece besides my gem cabinet, which I'll show you in a second. But as far as quartz goes, this is the best. This is the purest, the top quality stuff right there. Um, I could talk about that forever, so I'm going to not do that. This is tourmaline quartz, really cool, or tourmalated quartz. My little periodic table of elements back there. We have epidote in quartz from Brazil. And then uh, silver rutilated quartz. And that's a rutilated smoky quartz. So is, or that's rutilated quartz. That's also a rutilated smoky quartz. And then this is a smoky quartz from Colorado with a weird little inclusion on the tip. So that is those two shelves. Um, I think we'll move over here now. I have a little natural citrine mini point. Um, and then I have a bunch of these little natural citrine eggs. Um, I don't know why I was really feeling some natural citrine eggs, but these are super high grade gem quality. And this one has a rainbow. So pretty. And then I have a little natural citrine elefante, which I paid way too much for. This is my massive Arkansas quartz point from Garland County, Arkansas. It was found in the Advent Mine, which is the biggest quartz mining operation in the world. And this big massive piece was found there. It does have rainbows in the tip, which you can't see. Um, this thing is huge. Just imagine pulling this out of the ground. It's ridiculous. Oh, that's my hair, okay. Um, and it is beautiful. I love it so, so, so much. And if you want to hear me rant about this more, you can watch my crystal haul. I think it was my most recent crystal haul. Um, this is a quartz point from Brazil, Brazil with um, chlorate in the top. It looks like moss or something. And I love it. It's quite beautiful. Um, this is my eighth vein. OJ Palm, this stuff is like crack in the 80s, right? Okay. This stuff is very popular right now. See that little geode in there? I actually got this in a mystery box. Um, Tucson Jump Show mystery box. Then this is just some cinemat. This guy's just sitting here for now. I haven't found him his um, forever home. Well, in my room, his forever location. So he's just there. Uh, I keep rose quartz balls in here because why not? And quartz point again because can't have enough of that, I guess. 
Um, okay, we'll move up here next. Fluorite sphere. This is so, so pretty and I'm in love. Um, we got smoky quartz. We got amethyst. We got more clear quartz. We got more amethyst and we got my massive, massive um, blue calcite reform. This is 10 pounds and this one and my Arkansas point are rivaling for the biggest crystal I own. Um, I don't know, they're pretty close. Um, but this point is stunning, or this free form is beautiful. It reminds me of a summer sky. And I got a really good price on it. I'll actually just tell you because I'm so proud of the price that I got on it. It's 10 inches tall, 10 pounds, and I paid $110 for it. Um, so that was a really good deal. This is a clear quartz isohedron, I believe it's called. Probably not though, because I probably got that wrong. Um, I think it's the platonic solid for water. Um, down here we have some natural citrine points. I got these back before natural citrine was really popping off. And so I got pretty good deals on those. Here is my little gem museum collection. We have um, aquamarines from Colorado. This one is super high grade collector. It's terminated. Um, this one I actually cut and polished myself at the internship. I bought it off my, because she was the one that mined the material. So I bought the raw off of her and then I cut it. And um, that is a piece of tanzanite in the middle. And these are two pieces of eyelight. I'm actually just going to take this one out because it's really cool. This is Bloodshot Eyelight. See those hematite platelets in it? I love eyelight. It's one of my favorite stones. I think it's so underrated. It's so pretty. Um, we have Chrysophrase from Australia, Kunzite from Afghanistan or Pakistan, I can't remember. Um, this is boulder opal from Queensland, Australia. It's not from Lightning Ridge, but close enough. This is blue apatite, probably from Russia. Actually, no. This is yellow apatite. This is Mexican fire opal in Matrix. It's like a very watery one. Um, down here, we have a piece of rough ametrine, which I'm going to cut soon. The Marquise uh, Smoky Quartz, and then all of my cabs. I have Tanzanite, um, Aquamarine Tourmalines, Moss Kyanite, Smoky Quartz Citrine, and Iolite. So, lots of different cabs. I'm down here. Smoky Quartz, then little clear quartz cube with this um, adventuring, green adventuring angel on it. Uh, this is a Himalayan Smoky Quartz Shiva. And right here is a massive black moonstone freeform with an insanely beautiful golden flash all over it. Um, let's see if I can really get it in the sun to do it justice. Look at that golden golden flash so beautiful so pretty um down here we have a little celestite freeform apparently i think it's blue calcite but it might be celestite um optical calcite i love optical calcite in here we have a arkansas quartz point that rocks for the spirit dug up gyrosol quartz heart clear quartz heart kimbaba just which is actually fossilized three billion year old algae um honey calcite k2 jasper which is actually granite and azurite which is found at the base of only found at the base of mount k2 in the himalayas smoky cool hot i just like to hold it up to the window because it's pretty and down here, I have green spodumene, not hiddenite, just green spodumene because it's from Pakistan. Then we have some random tumbles. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna go through those. Pink opal, you get the vibe. Then here we have hematoid quartz and smoky quartz. 
Okay, last but not least is my nightstand, Selenite Sphere, Bear Cruise Amethyst, super pretty. I have lots of amethyst in this area of my room. Uh, Bahia Amethyst, super gemmy and high grade. This is also Bahia Amethyst. You can see those color zoning phantoms. Um, selenite or Sanspar. I know people are gonna get triggered about that. This is a massive five pound Bolivian amethyst. This is my favorite shape of points. I love them when they're squat and fat versus tall and skinny. I think that they're so much cuter and I don't know. I just prefer points that are this shape. It's raw at the base, and this is a massive Bolivian amethyst. Imagine a cathedral with points. This freaking huge, it's so pretty. I, I'm in love with this baby. Absolutely drop jawing, jaw dropping. Um, huge Himal Himalayan salt sphere lamp. And then down here, we have some really high grade, um, tumbles and things. So that's Lipidolite, Apothalite, Celestite. This is copper. But let's look at these smaller stones. So we have uh, Selenite, Peach Selenite. We have Celestite, Scolocite. Lots of sites in here. Kunzite. Rhodochrosite, oh my gosh. Kyanite. Um, Iolite, oh my gosh, can we get away from the ites? Smoky quartz, okay, finally. Chrysocolla, moonstone, rainbow moonstone. Um, we have blue rose quartz that has a star in it and it's not gonna show up because there's not enough light on it. Um, this is blue chalcedony. I love blue chalcedony. Turkish blue chalcedony. Um, if I could be anything, I would be... Okay, never mind. Um, we have phosphocidite. Um, we have lavender rose quartz. Another rare variety of rose quartz, those two. Um, more rose quartz. These two are just pieces of rose quartz. Um, rhodochrose, or rhodonite. Uh, Mangano calcite peach moonstone, kunzite, I believe from Pakistan, might be from Afghanistan. I know that the my that the mining conditions there, obviously, based on what's going on politically, is not a good thing. These were mined a lot, or I at least bought them a long time ago. Um, we have cherolite. Again, we don't support Russia's actions, but we do support their cherolite because it's beautiful. Um, right here we have scolocyte, a big scolocyte pond stone, another piece of kunzite, another piece of cherolite, again, not in support of Russia, just in support of their cherolite. Then we have a beautiful flashy um, lapidolite sheba. This one was from India, and it's some of the most high quality gem should uh, lapidolite that I've ever seen and I sure as hell paid for some damn high quality lapidolite for the price of this guy so I'm happy with the quality since considering the price but I'm very happy with it um selenite sandspar and laramar beautiful high grade laramar another piece of laramar there's another one hiding under there too and another one another one um, let's put the Russian egg back. Uh, and then I do have some like random crystals in here too, like some rose quartz and whatnot. But we're gonna leave it at that for now. Okay, you guys, that was my crystal collection. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And let me know which crystal is your favorite.